I don't like cotton. I did too much in the field. All of us slaves in the field until a few years ago. Because when you were living on that white man place, you couldn't do what you want to do. And some plantation at 4 o'clock in the morning, there's somebody shooting in your yard, waking you up to go to the field. The boss man would give you a settlement, call how much in the family, give you $12 a month. When that cotton got old enough, your children had to come out of their school and go to their cotton field. 30, 40 years ago, September, October, November, there was no school as far as the black kids were concerned. The historians talk about the old slavery days when blacks weren't allowed to read to be kept ignorant so that they could be controlled just to uh, work in the cotton fields or clean the houses or do whatever the master said they wanted to do. It's, it's a mentality. Did nobody never think that education was going to play so vital a role in, the, in people's life? What we thought was the jobs was going to always be here. We never thought it was going to just go completely out where you're going to have machines and chemicals to come in and take care of the whole thing. Time like it is now, I wish you come back. Well, what you, what you mean by what you come back is, the end of the day, you can go to the field and you can pick your sack. I'm going to catch the truck and go to the field. Go out there. What the highest amount of cotton you ever pick today? Three fifths. And you? Four fifths. Okay, I see. That's picking cotton. I mean, if we talking about picking cotton, I couldn't, unfortunately, I couldn't ever pick over 100 pounds. We all went out there and picked cotton when the moon is shining. My mom and daddy had us out there been up for seven years. I've never been a big cotton picker like her. I picked 450 pounds a day. 290, that's all I ever did. Beautiful, beautiful. My new trailer is supposed to come today, and uh, I'd be glad to see it. Yes, sir. There it is. Oh. There it is, y'all. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're going too fast now. You done passed it. Oh, that's two tones. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Well, it's another house. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? No, it's not beautiful, Lolly. Because it's neat, it's white and brown, just like this house here. I love it, though. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, that's the point. You come across that dip. Look at that. Look at that coming across.
the roaches in this house. Every time you look at you see them you see the sign. That is so beautiful here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh no. There's a great big trap in here. You know what I'm saying? You fucking call a big rat? I want a little rat. Well, see, my grant was 12000 It was from the government. On that paper said, free to rent and store. Now, I ain't got no free to rent. No lights. I ain't got no lights. If I, if I want to move in right now, how can I move in? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing right. Got to be clamped on the bottom of the top. For twelve thousand dollars, I really don't believe it's in. I don't believe twelve thousand dollars in here. Now you know twelve thousand dollars. If you meant to do right, you can play these. Man, oh God! Everything got to be clean. Might take me two or three months to get in here. Hold on. Not things all the way to be cool and worse. Cool and worse. You know, that's cool and worse. a level one school district. Here we are located in one of the most rural parts of the state. We're supposed to be, supposed to be the worst of the worst. Yeah. Um, and Kathy, is it fair that the state of Mississippi hasn't made the salaries lucrative enough to where we can get people to come here to teach? Irregardless to the fact that money doesn't solve all problems, we can't do anything without dollars. You want to talk about uh, what's, what's level, what's fair, what's even, and the fact that our kids got the same opportunity for an education as, as other places, it's not so. Now, how in the hell am I going to get off probation? What is wrong with Wade? The A commission. So how are we supposed to spell Wade? Say the class. W-A-I-T-A-T. Very good. You've done a great job. Now, what is wrong with you need to think about some of the things that we talked about today when we were picking out the words that were spelled incorrectly. Children. Well, I have 38 grand. I have 15 great grand. All in all, I had 11 children. And uh, I have six girls and two boys living. 
Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, heart. Trust me, Jesus. Trust my mind. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me. Ain't nobody saying it but me. Okay, come on. Trust me, Jesus. Trust me, Jesus. Y'all ain't no. Y'all, okay, I ain't gonna say no more then. Uh uh. Okay, say your prayer after them. Show them you can say your prayer. Lord. Lord, I should die. If I should die, before I wait, oh, praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So be. My soul be. Amen. 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 Good night, one more. Good night, red man. Victor, Victor, shall be mine. If the state were to come in and take over this school district, I think everything would turn completely in a negative direction because the problem is a local problem. And people from Jackson, Mississippi, or other parts of the state can't come in and heal the wounds that, that we're suffering from. The problems are so systemic. Um, and the only way you're going to be able to solve those problems is at the local level. It's, in a sense, we've got to lift ourselves up by our own bootstraps. The first thing I want to talk to you about is the testing situation. I think everybody's aware of uh, where we stand right now. Unfortunately, this will be the beginning of the fifth year for this school district to be a level one school district. The majority of our children have weak vocabulary skills and they don't understand the language. Most of them are sight reading, but because they can't define the words, they can't tell you what the sentence meant or they can't tell you what the paragraph meant, then they guess on the answer, or they don't even fill in the blank. That is the problem. It's almost as though the system is designed for us to fail, since we're already on the bottom. Right now, our current index is 1.8. We were so close. And I promise you, when we get to that 2.0, we're going to have a hell of a party. <laughs> all in all, I want to tell you something that makes me proud. Of the 149 school districts that took the Iowa test for basic skills, only 31 school districts improved their scores over last year. And the West Tallahatchie School District is among that. Give yourselves a hand. You'll never be seen as one of these level five districts because you're from the Delta. The Delta just has a heritage and a history. You'll never be seen that way. No school district in the Delta is ever gonna be seen like any of these others, but that's okay. The key is get them to walk across this stage and let the diploma mean something, and they go off to college and make you proud. That's all that matters. And I want to say this too now. There are a lot of school districts in this state of Mississippi that are not doing the wonderful things that you're doing with these children, mainly because they don't have the type children that you have. These kids have barriers that are unforeseen throughout this whole United States of America. People don't believe it. They say this is almost the year 2000. Kids are not living that way. This is almost the year 2000. You can't tell me your school district only has a budget of X number of dollars, or y'all don't have this, or y'all don't have that. People just don't realize it. It's a different world here. Come on. My daughter brought me a sack of meal. It's sitting on the table now. Do you hear me? I told my children, if they put all these children here on me and they ain't bring no ghosts, I said, now your children gonna starve. <laughs> it's rough. It's just rough with me. It's just rough on me, you know. And no kind of help and no kind of nothing. So, 
doing the best I can. I get four hundred and nine four dollars. That's what I get a month. Disability. But I got me a, a living room set. I didn't have nothing to pay down on it, so I have to pay him the first of the month. Now go bring me another jug of water for the rent from addition. And if you ask people for something, they say you're begging, so you're more than not to ask for nothing. If I ain't got no water, you know, then uh, I'm take this back. Get up and take it back. Don't have me to hit you now. Okay. The only grain I got out there is red man. The rest of them are my great grain. And that's saying oldest of them. And they're saying an older little boy out there. Nah, that was that, that was day over there. Her mama worked on a baby. Baby is two hours away. And uh, Sam don't have no car. That'd be too hard on her, you know, coming home one of her children. So I keep Granny and Aunt Tanya, yo, send them to school. My mama, grandmother had 25, and my mama had my mama's mama had 17, and my mama had, my mama had 23. Ooh, my, we were 11 boys and 12 girls up. <laughs> Never know my father. Well, how huh, y'all, huh? So that's the way it is. Red name was born in July the 13th, in 1992. I haven't had him since he's six months old. His mama brought him home to me, and then I started to the raising him and doing for him. His daddy didn't live in Memphis. He won't come see him or nothing. I don't know him myself. If he walk up in there, I wouldn't know him. Yeah. So when he starts school in August, with the law will, then he, he's supposed to be in first grade. Yep. You want to go to school? You got to go to school to go to jail. Take your children. You going to jail? Okay. All right, now, if y'all read about him in jail, I'm going to go to school now. So I, you know I said it. Mm-hmm. I want to go to jail for real. <laughs> I want to be a stove, a stove man. No, I want to work at the uh, nursery home. Yeah. I'm going to be the... Oh, first V. I'm going to be the... I'm going to be the car man. I'm be the, I'm be the, uh, no one thing you wash your car with, that won't be. I started cooking at seven years old. Go to the garden and get rutabaga bagels. So. Things was, was well, like it is now. We just eat out of the field. What's never we find fit to eat, that's what we eat. I always have wanted to be a chef cook. But I didn't have nobody to teach me, you know. I'm going to show you somehow. See, when you get big enough to cook and you got to strap up some, you ain't got to have a whole lot of meat. All you got to do is take this bologna and cut it up in your gravy, up in your sauce. That's all you got to do. Everybody yeah, get a little bit of it. But you still have some left. She was little. She had like an old lady. She crawled like an old lady. Everything touched her knees and hurt. So uh, we just want to call her Granny. Granny! Granny! Bring y'all up here! Here she is. Hey, you got me some meat, girl. How y'all doing? That's Lois. Mine I didn't say grandma. Flakes. You ain't bring me no meat, girl. That's what my water, Lord. I told them to get your water. Then they brought no water. I ain't had no water. I'm going to drop the water off here. Mm -mm. Told you she couldn't open the trunk. The trunk wasn't locked. It can't lock. <laughs> We 
like to party. We we dance. We used to dance a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why they call us the Booger Twin. She don't want me to say it, but I'm gonna say it. We like to dance a lot. We used to. We got too old to do the dance we used to do. And then nothing to do. Play Spain. Thought we do this every day. Party season. I got a job. At the gym. I'm living. I can't complain. Yeah. I get SSI. Slow. Slow learning. No. I used to be in special ed, me and her. That's Hard to catch on. Slow. That's still science. Slow learning. I said hard to catch on. My mother, she a real good mother, and I love her. And she died right today, and and who and nobody else for us. Cause if you ain't got no mama, you ain't got nobody. Nobody but the good Lord. about love because anything that go on in my life and I didn't like it, I just shake my head and go walk off from it. So really, I really ain't never been in such in love with no man. And I know God will keep me from that. Because mm -hmm. ain't no good. There ain't no bit of good. I want to get married one time. I've been married one. But uh, I done cooked this man food all the week. I done walked, kept him clean. I done kept his house clean. I done did this. And when payday come, he don't give me now and dime. I, 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 I don't want no man in my life. Uh, man give you a headache, too. Hey, Daddy. Hey,
We get kids in kindergarten who don't know colors. We get kids in kindergarten who've never been read to. If we can educate the children of the illiterate parent, we stop the vicious cycle. We stop the teenage pregnancies. We stop the use of drugs. We stop the thugs that people label these kids as who walk the street and break in people's houses. We begin to lessen the number of black kids who go 16 miles from here to the state penitentiary where more and more facilities are being uh, furnished for that than classrooms. You know, it takes about $30,000 a year to house and feed one inmate. Give me 2% of that $30,000, let me educate him. Just 2%. Give me 2% of that money. Per child in my school district, we should be able to do a better job. Where he going to be in? First grade. Red man going to be in first grade. I ran a kindergarten one. I don't know. I would, couldn't tell you nothing until tomorrow. Him, this is him. Is uh, I'm telling you, we call him man. He done for two years. It's not. In first grade. It's not grade. Well, you have? It's not. Well, he's not well, and uh, I said, hey. Okay. Grand, uh, she's sick, right? Why you ain't got but one bucket, girl? Get back in that water bath, Father. Okay, Grandma. But you didn't have bath. Not me. They don't bath, they say you go in that bath so you can come out that water. Get ready, man. Ready for school tomorrow. Hey, Linda, who filled my suitcase? Uh huh. What red man clothes? All the boy clothes on. Linda, that's you wrong, baby. You got all red man clothes. What you doing in jail? Man, shoot. They told me what I was doing. I did. to be good. I don't want you to be melon and nothing. Because if you do, you're going to get a whooping. What is this, Gregory. Gregory? Uh, okay. Gregory Wallace. Get a whooping, baby. All right, and, um, uh, he said that he doesn't live with any of his parents. He lives with you. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. When you get to it, you're saying, could you give me a record that, uh, what all he needs? I need to know that. We'll give you everything. You know, yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll tell you where to go to get it, okay? Yes, ma'am. It is paper towels, Kleenex, two big pencils, uh, glue, scissors, I didn't go to school this morning. You didn't have enough clothes. Enough clothes? Yep. You had enough to go to school. They had enough clothes. You had to tell they ain't had no pay on him. 
Oh, you said paper. Well, let them go to school and, and tell you to get some paper. I'm going out of the door and talk to Jeanette. Just hold up in that house. Just hold up in that house. I'm going to go to the door. You got to have plenty. Paper towel. All this stuff. I'm going to get lunch. I'm going to use this. I can use this. I can get lunch. Lunch? What am I going to go buy? I'm going to call Mama. It's going to be the same thing. Uh-uh. You go to the school house and, and get what you're going to get. Because now, for your big girl, she got to come down here. I read my knee to enroll me in school. I can't get it until I get able. So you didn't want his real... Required for candy dollar instruct versus stiff and health so stiff from the social security number to prove it. That's what it said. Yeah, but see, she, she uh, liked me, made me kind of angry, but I, I, I just helped me pee. Like, I didn't know what I was talking about. Couldn't you help her out with this shit here? Information that she can't do? I didn't look at her. I mean, I can't write everything I want, but I know what I was talking about. If I had me some money, I'd leave here. Leave it all up to y'all, because y'all can run the devil out of me. I go through it a whole lot. Oh, I go through it so much. I cry sometimes, pray sometimes, sing sometimes. Don't nobody know. What your mama tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Well, what you, what you said about this morning about school? Huh? That yeah, we ain't had no paper in front. Well, you want to go to school tomorrow? Yeah. Well, I'll see to y'all trying to go to school tomorrow, huh? Yeah? Here? Yeah. I got some nickels and pennies and I can give y'all to try to try get some paper. That's all mama can do. I got that in my bag now. I can give you that and try to get some paper. You can buy the paper at the schoolhouse. And I got some pencils around there, so go get them pencils lying right here. You just pick out some of them pencils that uh, can do you until uh, your mama get paid off right. Okay? So don't cry. I went to Chicago and my sister, she cleaned floors and what she cleans up there, she pick up a lot of pencils and things and she gave them to me to bring home and get the children. And I don't know what you need. What grade are you, Brandon? Six. Most likely a sixth grade child will need a ballpoint thing. Okay, you take these. See what that doesn't write too. Uh-huh. I uh, got some pencils, but I ain't got enough for everybody. They get mine too. That's for mine. That's for you tomorrow. You bath up tonight, so in the morning you get up and get yourself ready and catch that bus, okay? until the children can come to school the first day of school and stop waiting three, four, five days, we're not gonna solve anything because instruction begins now. We don't wait a week and let kids get settled in. 
we have a test that these kids have to take in October, October 1. We start preparing them now for that test. Somebody has to be a level one school district, but by God, we don't want to be the level one district. It's as simple as that. Today we're going to continue reviewing for ITBS, working on y'all's reading comprehension. Read the directions to, uh, <coughs> to this page, please. Go ahead, Cassandra. Five sources of information are listed below. Decide which one would be the best. Yes, hey, today, ready to see the lady, remember the day? Mm -hmm. Today? There you go. Now, come on with your next one now. Well, uh-huh, then you got a D. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, you catch it all now. Now you got the eye. Okay. There you go. All right. You're moving right fast now. I want you to practice on this for me now. You know what happened last time? You had over $2,000 in the bank. Sure your, did. Sister, your sister died and left your insurance. And then you had... People that call themselves your friend, mm -hmm. they went and signed your money out the bank because the only thing you did was made an X. Uh -huh. And you trusted them so much, so they made the X for you and went in the bank and got yeah. your money. Got your Yo money. Got all your money out. Uh -huh. Now, by you learning how to sign your name, mm -hmm. can't nobody sign it like you. But you, was there any kind of reason why you didn't get a chance to go to school? Say that. They had waiting, fed, child uh, You ever been married? One time. You been married before? Yeah, right. one time. How long you stayed married? Two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> mm -hmm. He got gone. <laughs> yeah. I ain't look for him. You ain't look for him no more? Uh-uh. What, he just left? He just left. Well, I see. He went and put the meal up. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> Miss Deal, but I don't want you to make no mark this time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. If you sign that name, I'm going to be sitting back and looking at you. I'm going to be so proud. Okay. Years ago, during cotton picking season, you closed the school systems down. And you didn't open the schools back up until all the crop was picked. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you the truth. I hate cotton. And that thing, I'm pulling that sack behind me and somebody can throw me down that sack. I just hate it. I hate cotton. My great-grandmother, my grandmother, my mother worked in the field. I have got beaten in the cotton field. I have, ooh, Lord. My, my mama and my stepfather trying to make me pick 300 pounds of cotton. They weren't allowed to read. If they began to think for themselves, then that would threaten the economy of the white farmer because without those people in the fields, he had no production. We pick cotton and we chop cotton and plumb them up until it, it started paying by the hour. And when they started paying this good money, that's when everything changed. In 66, it was 90 cents an hour. It went up to a dollar. And, uh, well, I chopped cotton for a dollar and 15 cents an hour. That was big money for, for, for us, you know. The white people uh, put a lot of people out the place, tore up the houses. So, that's been so many people don't know now because they didn't have nowhere to live it, you know, because the white person swear that they wasn't going to pay that kind of money to the farm. That was a time when uh, in Tallahatchie County, it was known as the free state of Tallahatchie, meaning the people here, particularly the white people or the people in power, so you know they had to be white, did whatever they wanted to do. It was as though there was an iron curtain around this county. I don't know today how they got away with it, but they did. These people who were the grandparents of the kids we are educating 
these people have been scarred so deeply. It is so ingrained in them that an education was not important. Why, why would you not want to go to the cotton field? Because that was your way of life. And that way of life from 30, 40, 50 years ago still exists here today. Are we trying to get you all fired up? Okay. If we pass the test, what do we get off? Probation. Probation. One more time. One more time. That last year. What is it? I can't hear you. All right. That's good. Thank you. Good morning. Right, let, me, let me have your attention, please. When one person in this seventh grade class doesn't try to do his or her best on the test. It reflects on every one of you. So that's why we're having all these pep rallies and rep sessions and all this other stuff that's going on, to encourage people to understand the value of the test. Who's on probation? We are. Do you understand that it's only you that can get us off probation? I don't have your attention. Everybody wants to see who's walking in the door. It's your test. It's your future. And you don't have two seconds to give me your time because somebody's walking in the door? I didn't mean to yell at you, but it upsets me when an individual doesn't want to try to help himself. I want you all to try to do your best tomorrow. Everybody talking about the ITBS. We need to do our best on the test. All we need is concentration. So we get out this probation. Everybody, if you got a test, you get loud. Let us talk, let's rock the mic for y'all. Let me tell you, nigga, that you came up with this. ITBS is body, body, and we are just riding, riding. Let me tell you, all y'all students, let's know. If you got a pass for a test, let's go. It's not that our kids can't really do the work. The fact is, they are ravished of cultural development. All these kids know is the damn tractor that rides down the road and seeing cotton fields, seeing sorghum fields, seeing sorghum fields. That's what they see. What are they dreaming about? What are their hopes? What are their aspirations? Today is a big day. Um, I'm probably beside myself in reference to the way I react to people. And it's, it's not a pressure type situation. It's just something where um, I've done all I can do. And the test is upon us now. Um, and it frustrates me that I can't get in the classroom and assist. But that's not my role. Um, and it's going to be a hair-pulling experience for me for the next four days until the testing cycle is over. It's just a situation where, where it's sort of like a do or die, but it's a catch-22 situation as well. How do you expect a poor school district to do as well as a prospering school district when, when you look in our area, you see no industry? It's poverty. The only way you're going to ease poverty 
is to get people jobs. We're never going to get industry because industry is not going to come to an area that has a school system that's a level one school system. They can't recruit people from California, New York, or wherever to come here and run the plants because where are their kids going to go to school? Those people are not coming. So economic development is a problem, but economic development is not going to happen until people are educated here. What's that next picture? Hi. What? Hi. 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 Yum, yum. Hi. Say pie. Hi. All right, look like this. Pie. Does pie begin the same as <coughs> pen? Yes. yes, good. Sound it. Catch it. I didn't go no far in sixth grade, so I ain't going to tell you that uh, I'm educated because I'm not. But most of what I got in me is in here. When you got your own education, you don't have to speak too low. This is cotton season right now. I start when the gym starts. I cook in the morning. Then I take it out to the gym. I would say you got two months just to do this. You too. I charge, when I go down around the slaughter gym, that's five dollars. Sometimes you make you, you you make the profit, sometimes you don't. The way it's rested, yeah, you got the <laughs> root pig and die pole. That's in my song, Ellie Van. You didn't learn to the whole food. Huh, you want steak or chicken? Give me steak. Come on, all that much, right? After when you get around to me. All right. I'm on a diet. Okay, okay. I, I, I told you I used to work here. How much money do you need? Well, I'm not. Well, this, I'm, you will get a full dinner. You're going to give me $5. Right. You ain't charging nothing extra for the flies, are you? <laughs> no. That'd be a dollar and twenty cents on the. On the what? Well, I said two dollars. Uh uh, two and a half. So I, my nana put more than a dollar and a half. Ooh, you bone stabbing me. Well, I don't know what you want to do with that. Well, you better get some I wish I'd get on my bike and ride places that I wouldn't come back until, until a long time, until they miss me and everything. Pony, gone pony, gone pony. You ready? Uh oh, she ready to get back. Get up, love, get back, love, get back up there. She's gonna take it from you. Where'd she go?
Life charges, because life charges do what? They repel. Good job. So your first box, you're going to have two tables on your on your sheet today. One's going to be for your ruler, and one is going to be for your rod. And they're going to look exactly the same as... But our teachers are being trained to death. But our corrective action plan says we've got to show so much training. But there again, the, the, the teachers are being punished because of the performance of the kids. And common sense says, well, that means your teachers are not teaching. No, it doesn't mean that. If these kids are coming from the type homes that we know they're coming from, they're not getting it at home. And that classroom is not a house. But in this district, it has to be. It's the house, it's City Hall, it's the grocery store, it's the medical center, it's everything you can imagine. We're all measured by the same standard. And that's what's wrong. You know, I mean, you, you just get so frustrated. There's, there's only so much you can do. Oh, yes, may I speak with uh, Laura Lee Wallace, please? Laura Lee Wallace? Okay. Yes, may I speak with her? Well, she lives across the road. No, uh, it would be possible to get her? Because that's, that's the number I have for about Cassandra. Yes, about, uh, I'm her teacher, her science teacher at R.H. Beard, and I'm getting a little concerned about her homework, so I'd like to talk to someone to get things straightened out. Is that possible? Well, I have to walk over there and tell her. All right, I'll be waiting for her call. You think it'll be soon? Yes, as soon as I can. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. 
This box and the material that, that's contained in this box, it's really survival. If the test results in this box uh, is positive, what it means to the West Tallahatchie School District is the possibility of being able to recruit teachers because test scores are improvement and we're not a bunch of illiterate people, that there's potential here, that there's promise, there's a light at the end of the tongue. All of our fate's at stake now. Language, 41.4. Down. Math, 43.4. Down. Sixth grade reading, 37.4. Up. Language, 39.6. I mean, we've got a chance. We've actually got a chance to remove the level one status. There's a good possibility that we may have moved to a 2.0. I sure wish these schools had been 40s or better yeah. in every area. Yeah. You have seen one hell of a party in Tallahassee <laughs> County, I can tell you that. And we still may have reason to party, but we won't know now until February. You know, she wanted she wanted to come here last year early in the year, and I didn't want to go get her because I have to, when I go pick her up, I have to take full responsibility. I have to feed her, buy her clothing, everything. Nobody's gonna help me with anything. I got tired of staying there. Mm -hmm. I had to do a lot of work. You said got tired of babysitting. Mm -hmm. She had all them kids to babysit. Her mother came to pick her up, told her she had to go home. She cried, she cried. I mean, she didn't want to go. And I told her, you know, hey, you ain't got to go home. You ain't got to go back up there, because all they want her to do is babysit. She tried to go everywhere I go. She tried to go everywhere. She thinks she can be like me. Mm -hmm. You making me. If, if you didn't want me to be like you, you want to buy me this shirt. You can make I got more stuff than you. That's all. Cause I'm baby. Yeah. She was on the unroll at one time, but then when Grady Grace came out this time, they were not the best, you know. I don't know what happened. Uh, but uh, we had a little talk, and I've got to go and talk to her teacher. But uh, she's going to be all right. She's a good kid. You have to I was trying to take care of Granny and Maine, but when you don't did all you can and you do all you can, that's all you can do. So I don't know. I spoke to Vaughn today and he can hardly speak. So I don't know what's going on. Maine, he'll stay here long as long as they don't get him. Maine wants to live with his father last year, but uh, no father want to exist. This this man that claimed to be his father and said he's not his father. Maine told him the last time he was at this person's house, I'm not your father, 
and I'm not gonna fool with you no more. Really, he just ain't got nobody but me. Mm-mm, finna go, though. He already sent me. They already sent me. You know? It'll be hard to come on $5,000. I'm just hoping my mama be all right, you know. Man, at night when she first heard she bust out, I just went to her and crying. Mama gonna come, we'll come over soon. That's our baby. What's gonna happen to Eddie Reed? Well, I call him Maine. I don't know what's gonna happen to him. But uh, I'm praying to the Lord that he get out of it. Week before last, I see him. And I talked to him about all this rings and things he was wearing and necklace. I said, "You, what are you doing to be? He said, girlfriend was buying this stuff for him. I said, what's never you done? You better be careful, boy. I don't be fooling with no drugs, you know. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I don't know. I just don't know. You know, I haven't had before, boy. Two of them dead. When George, <laughs> he was working for Johnny B. Johnny B. gave him this old car. And the quicker he gave him that car, some told him and said, that's George Dell. And I went straight to Johnny B. I said, Johnny B., I said, please get that car back. I said, that's the death of George. He said, oh, my Lord, I can't get that car back. And it sure was the death of him. Because when he had the rape, somebody come in there. So long he said, George can have a rape. Somebody come in and said, Lord, he said, he's dead. Somebody else come in and said, Joe, I said, come in. Somebody else come behind and said, he gone. That's the way, he, that's the way it was. <laughs> I really not said, I'll never. You know how I to love your children. I don't love them too hard. That was my love. Man. It's the next one. I love all of them. But man and Joe was my love. In the poet. Oh, 
Say, how old are you? Twelve. No, you're twelve, not twelve. You're twelve. Well, now, in the middle of all of the talking in the community and throughout the state about what Delta children cannot do, what Delta teachers do not do, what Delta administrators uh, do not do with their staff and what staff members do not do, you have proved them wrong. Together, we have done it. West County has a school district is off of probation. We are a two point zero. And Tacos, we are a level two point zero. Oh, for the children? Yes, ma'am. Okay, come on. Just come down. Come on, sir, and talk to me. Who you want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about Antonio. Antonio? Uh, yes, he was on a list of some of our possible mentees. Uh, I'm a boy to men mentor, like the mm -hmm. says right here. Mm -hmm. And what we do, we get kids up in our area, mm -hmm. and we try to be mentors to them. You know, be their friends, help them with their homework, stuff like that, mm -hmm. to make sure that they make it. You're welcome, and I, I, I hope you succeed. And uh, when you get on to him, think about Gregor, because Gregor needs help, too. I mean, that's a problem. I can help you with your lessons. All you got to do is say hey, you want to be a part of this program. If you have problems, you can come tell me about it. Come on, Pee Wee. Pee Wee. What's going on, man? How you going to get us down there? Pee Wee. Come on. I come over here. Yeah, what? Come on, go over here. Keep Come on, Pee-wee. Do you want to be a part of the program? What's everything? What you like to do? What's your favorite hobby? Basketball, football. You like to play Nintendo too, don't you? I'm okay, then. You know what I'm going to show you what it is, all right? You prefer food? I call him no food. It's not nice. You don't like when people call you food, do you? How it make you feel? Do you get mad a lot? Why you get mad a lot? You don't know how to control your anger? Let's see if I can teach you how to control your anger. My hands look real big to you, don't know? Well, his hands out there even bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be real big. Somebody in there, you. Nobody, nothing happened. 
Scale and scale. Man, what are you doing? I've been looking all over town for you. They locked me down just for some little, little some meaning here, and had a seventy thousand dollar bond on my head before they went and reduced it. Next time I get locked down, you yeah. come back to me. You go to the end I with me. Now you go to the Y. Not if they don't let me. You don't leave your baby out in the world like that. You go to the Y. I couldn't talk to you, man, when they don't lock you up. That's what I'm, I'm trying to tell you now, Mom. That's, that's in your constitutional right. You got, a, you got a right to sit down and discuss your problem over with your family, Mom. Well, I'm telling you now, them, they didn't let you, when they don't let you do it, you can't do it. That day y'all put in that yard, God was calling me in. And, and, and that was a strange thing. That's a strange thing. I don't, I don't know what he want me to do, but I got to go, to go in, and, go and, live in and for see Jesus. what he want me to do, you know? Go to church and live for Jesus. You can't, you can't go to church and live like an angel in the church and live like a snake out the church. Right. You got to live every day holy. Right. See? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to fishing. We're going to go to fishing here, old girl. Yeah, see, that's the whole purpose of me being here. I'm making a play for you now. Yeah, I, can, I can take care of Mama now. You know? Yeah. Mama ain't going, going to the, the home if I can help her now. This one weekend, I told Vaughn that I'll pack my clothes because I won't come back. Okay. In language, she got a 74. My shirt on. Like Pre-algebra, she got an 85. Social studies, she got a 100. Science, she got a 98. In history, she got 85. And when all, all of them could be more than that could be better. If she stopped running her mouth so much, her, her grade would be better than what they really are. You tell them something, then she got to clap her chaps. But she be all right. And, and he, he would go to my school, and he told me to tell her that he like her. She want a man that got money and just have muscle. <laughs> We progress two tenths of a point every year until we went from 1.0 to 2.0 now. There's not much difference between 1.9, which is level one, and 2.0, which is level two. We are 2.0. So we're not out of the dark. We're not going to be discussed negatively in the newspaper as being one of the lowest achieving districts in the state because we're no longer on probation. We're now in a stage called warning. The goal is to get to a level three or above. A level three is supposedly called a functioning school district. So um, now the work really starts.
Stuff out the car. I'm so tired. Gonna lock that reed back up. See, I got a big knot on his head like they're gonna beat him up. That's a lady calling me. Got nobody phone on the call. Lord dear. See, I told man that. I told man that. I told man. Man, you got too much money in your pocket. Man, let me put some of that money. Up. I told him. I told him not. It's probably he probably don't think he. He was selling drugs. Man, win this morning at the casino. He win that money at the casino, but they don't think he was selling drugs to get that money. He called the police station. Go call and see. Let me see what they said. They're trying to kill me. Jeanette, ask them what, 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 what they locked him up for, okay? I don't even want to talk to him no more. I begged that boy. Said he could have wanted to give me some money. I would have had it for him. Mm -mm, he want to pull all that money around in his pocket. Come on. Yeah. Now I don't know how come they sent him a ninety-nine cent too. That would kill me. Go steal my pop out the car. And that's his mouth. And she tell her son to steal from me. And he grew up. Who he gonna steal from then? He charged possession of crack cocaine. He ain't got no bond. He can't get out no more. On no kind of bond. We gonna set that to the city of the country. Keep on, just keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. Where your poke car? I thought you put it in your room. Check it out.
kept uh, reading. I can't read all this. But I know one thing. You got 40, 42 and 45 weeks, I guess. Mm -hmm. He liked to play too much. Mm -hmm. What about Antonio, too? Why do you act like that in school? Don't you know people can see you without you acting up? You are doing good. Now you falling. If you don't learn your book, if somebody come out there some man say, I'm going to give you five dollars to tell his packet over yonder. Ain't you going to get that five dollars and carry over there? Huh? Well, see, you be carrying dope. See? Then you sure enough going to get killed or either in, in the penitentiary. You got to learn for yourself. You got to be a man for yourself. You got to be a good boy for yourself. I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm one of these individuals who's a dreamer or whatever the case may be, but somebody's got to believe that things are going to get better. I did not want to come back. Try to come down here and teach my brother things I probably give behind in school. I got a scholarship from Carver. They wrote, if I was a senior today, I can be able to go to college, I think, at the University of Tennessee for $22,000.